Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Generally, you can use the command prompt to run your Python scripts on your Windows PC. But if you're coding with Visual Studio Code, you can also run your scripts directly inside the application. In this video, I will show you everything you need to set up and use Python in VS Code on your Windows 11 computer. Let's go. Visual Studio Code is a popular syntax editor that supports development operations such as debugging, script execution, and version control. It also supports hundreds of languages, including Python, and offers syntax highlighting that makes it easy to identify specific programming keywords. If you don't have VS Code yet, open your browser and visit the official Visual Studio Code download page. For your quick reference, click the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below. Once VS Code is ready, the next step is to download and install a Python interpreter, which allows your computer to translate the code into machine-readable language so that your PC's processor can execute the scripts you'll create later. If you have administrator privileges on your PC, open your browser. Visit python.org downloads and download the file compatible with Windows. Then run the executable file. Check add python.exe to path and click install now to start the installation. It is important to add Python to your computer's path so that you can easily access the Python shell and run your code. This will also be necessary later when you install needed Python libraries while coding. If you forgot to add Python to your path during installation, make sure to configure it manually to your computer's environment variables. To start, click the Windows key, search for python.exe, right-click the result, and select Open File Location. If you're not redirected to the Programs folder, click Local in the address bar above, and locate the specific directory in the list. Go to Python. Open the same folder with the specific version number and copy the file path from the address bar above. Next, look for Environment Variables and open the configuration page. Proceed to Environment Variables and double-click Path in the User Variables panel. Click New. Paste the Python's file path and save your changes with OK. You can also add it in path under system variables if you want all user accounts on your computer to use and execute Python code. After editing the environment variable configuration, make sure to restart your computer for your changes to take effect. On the other hand, if you're using a non-administrator account on your PC, open the terminal and enter Python. When the Microsoft Store window opens, download the latest version of Python to your computer. To verify that Python has been successfully installed on your computer, open the terminal and type py-version. The Python version should then appear in the command result. When your Python interpreter is ready, set up the necessary extension inside VS Code so that you can easily compile and run Python scripts. Launch VS Code and go to the Extensions Marketplace and search for Python. Get and install the Python extension from Microsoft. To test it, click Ctrl and O keys and find the Python script you want to run. Please note that your script must have the specific .py extension so that VS Code understands that you're running a Python program. Once your script is open in the editor panel, simply click the play button in the top right corner of the dashboard to run your code. VS Code's built-in PowerShell opens automatically so you can test and use your program as usual. Additionally, Python comes with several packages such as Boto3, SetupTools, NumPy, 6, and more. 
These packages are code libraries that consist of classes, modules, functions, and more to perform advanced tasks on your program. Depending on your intended use, you can choose which package to install and see the full list from pypi.org. From your VS Code dashboard, click Control, Shift, and backtick keys to open its terminal. Enter the command py-mpip install space and the name of the specific package you need. After installation, you can inject it into your code and use the library's various classes and functions. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!